What's going on, guys? So I'm going to be covering our SMP trade that we took this morning. It's just a scalp. So first we started off with IFTA, meaning on the daily we're looking at the past 20 and 40 and 60 days. So our 20 and 40 are currently aligned, and our 60-day low is over here. We have the 20, 40, and 60-day high here. And if you want this indicator, it's just called ICT Anchored IFTA Ranges. I'm not sure who made it, but shout out to them. So we were getting close to reaching back up to that 50%, which initially was our target um, on the week. So we made that low, caught up here at 25%, and then traded up. Now, what we were looking at was we wanted to see if it would run up to this 50%. That's kind of what we were expecting. Now, now is a better situation because we want to see them pull down and still attack that 50%. But now we know there's a good chance that it'll be a larger move. So on the four hour, and I do understand that, you know, all the order blocks are connected, but when you break down the time frames, you can still just look at the top one as the order block. So on the four hour, I was using uh, the wicks for this level on the order block, and then I measured just the bodies to get the mean threshold. You could have also used, um, obviously, the low here on the order block, but that first uh, level is the wick, but I would expect the body to be a little more sensitive either way. So, and then I saw this gap down here on the one hour, I believe it, or maybe the 30. Yeah. On the 30 minute, um, I saw a fair value gap there. So that's what I was targeting. Now here's that four hour order block. There's the wick. There's the mean threshold. So this was created during Asia and London. Now, Traded back down, ran into that mean threshold multiple times, ended up uh, not catching that trade. So then what we saw formed was a fair value gap right here, right at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern, which is the beginning of our silver bullet. So we saw a silver bullet gap there, and it ran all the way through the gap, through the order block, tapped that mean threshold, and then traded down. So we figured that uh, that silver bullet range was pretty significant. And just to take it down a little further, when it traded, so it, it traded up to the silver bullet. Uh, we actually didn't take that trade, hit off the mean threshold, which I thought was really sweet, then broke down and broke structure. So that was something significant. And we saw this tap up here, um, but we did see it a little bit late. We saw it right around here. Ended up just going ahead and pulling that because I liked this so much. It ran right to what I call the sweet spot, which is the opposite side of our silver bullet. So this is a bearish silver bullet, five minute gap. Now the sweet spot's gonna be at the top end. It's gonna offer you the best stop. If you wanna learn more about that, just go watch my silver bullet videos. It's in the last couple of videos, I think. But either way, ended up going short on that with the stop up there. And it pretty much just ran. Um, this is just a 30 minute uh, range uh, indicator. But yeah, we pushed down. And like I said, I was looking for the uh, fair value gap that was created right here on the one hour. So you can see we went and tapped into that, pulled back, and then fully delivered that range. Now let's see. So from entry to the top of that was uh yeah about 200 ticks 20 total points in S&P which is pretty significant obviously would have liked to get an entry up there at the sweet spot but just didn't happen today and you know would have loved of course that uh mean threshold there 50% of that order block would have been really great but it's not always the way it goes, but you know, one thing I do want you to see is that in this, you get like, uh, when I visualize this swing, right? We have this, uh, this midpoint, let me delete this real quick. So we have this midpoint in this order block. Now, what I want to see is right. If it does get to that mean threshold, I want to see that start breaking down. Okay. So now it breaks down below this order block. Now I, I'm okay if they kind of trade through that order block, but I don't want them to give up the mean threshold. I want to see that area be protected. And if that area has been protected now, I don't want to see them really exceed the order block. 
So now that that's formed, you've got a break in structure, break in structure. You're protecting your, your mean threshold and your order block. That's usually when you just look for a nice little fair value gap to trade into and then trade down. And so I was, what I was referring to as the sweet spot, say you were taking a sweet spot entry, you'd wait for a retracement up to the top of that gap, enter there, and then look for an extension. And if you wanted to just see what short might look like, you could look at something like this. Right, that's, that's kind of what I would expect is, um, and you could even measure like say this range here and line up those expansions. Okay, we want a, you know, half a swing or we want a full swing uh, expansion of this leg, right? Or even on some swing trades, you could just measure this full leg here. Okay, I want a half extension of that level. Now these aren't really as important. They're just really um, levels that are relative, relative to price. But all right, y'all just wanted to hop in and kind of recap this trade and talk about the way that I was seeing it. And just let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to help you. Thanks, guys. Peace.